Hello everybody, Stuart here from Stubu Gaming. Today I am going to be going through um, a couple of things on the Rift Breaker. Um, I haven't touched on this game uh, often, to be honest, um, and definitely not recently. Uh, in fact, I haven't uploaded many videos recently at all, mainly because I'm trying to find a game that um, I want to continually play that I can make videos on. Uh, I am playing The Ascent a lot, uh, I'm playing The Rift Breaker a lot, um, I'm playing No Man's Sky more these days as well. Um, Inquisitor Marta has dropped off, uh, unfortunately. Um, I think it's a case of waiting until the, the new season and the new class is released, uh, and then I'll probably go back to it. Uh, and I'm still hopeful that they're going to produce a next generation update. But anyway, um, in this I want to discuss power stations. Um, there are many different power stations within the game and when you first start you are going to be greeted by only three of them really. Uh, those three are going to be um, wind turbine, solar panels and carbonium power plant. My advice is do not touch the carbonium power plant. It is pointless. Um, it basically takes a very very uh, important resource away um, at one per second and it only generates 50 energy whereas you can get between a wind turbine and a solar panel you can get 32 energy and there is no resource cost so um, it's much better to do that personally I always go for wind because they work during the night as well um, and I use solar as a backup and I always have a battery so that I can store any energy that I'm not currently using and that will obviously keep me tied over if there's ever a drop in wind speed or during the night. In this video however I want to talk about a different type of power station and that is the gas power station. Now there are multiple ways of feeding this power station uh, as you can see it produces 500 energy but it does use 50 flammable gas per second. Now there's multiple ways of producing flammable gas, so if we put this power plant down here, it'll take two minutes to build, but uh, hopefully uh, Olive's finished talking and I can uh, jump to when it's completed. But the two ways of doing this are we can look to, oh I always press the wrong button at that stage, we can look to either use a biocomposter, so biocomposter basically needs a It'll take two minutes to build, but uh, hopefully uh, Olive's finished talking and I can uh, jump to when it's completed. But the two ways of doing this are we can look to... Oh, I always press the wrong button at that stage. We can look to either use a biocomposter. So biocomposter basically needs a water source and plant or animal matter. I think uh, plant, sorry. So plant biomass. So it's quite resource intensive because to get the water, you actually need a water purifier. Now the water purifier um, actually uses energy. So you have to have an energy source just to get water to then create power, which to me doesn't seem like the best way of doing it. So what we want to do is we want to find ourselves a green pool like this here and we want to instead use a gas filtering plant. Now the gas filtering plant is actually really useful so if I just plonk this down here it's going to take a minute to build. What I will also need is a pump. Now I'm doing level ones of all of these by the way I'm not doing any of the advanced ones simply because I want to show you guys exactly what this is like. So if I put this there and I obviously need to build some pipes now if you hold the X button this is on PlayStation obviously and drag out you can actually make the pipes in one long run and um, that's much easier um, there we go so in 20 odd seconds we will find out exactly what this power plant can do so we've already got the tap full now the tap produces um, 100, uh, well basically it removes 100 sludge per second, um, so that's quite good. 
This takes 100 a second, so that's matched brilliantly. And it produces 100 flammable gas. Now, this does need energy, unfortunately, but it's only 5 per second. So what we can do for that, just to keep us going, is we can stick one turbine. Even a level 1 turbine is going to be more than enough. So one turbine, which is four squares in effect, and basically takes out 12 energy. We're going to lose seven energy in effect. There we go. And we are now producing gas. So there we go. That is going to power quite a lot, which is uh, pretty useful. Um, and that is the simplest way of powering a gas power plant and getting a lot of resource from it. So just to show you the other way, if we uh, remove this here and remove a couple of sections of pipe, in fact let's do this the easy way um, So this is the easy way. If you go across to the spanner and screwdriver or wrench and screwdriver um, and press X, you will get a menu which are the repair, the upgrade, the um, cell and the deconstruct. Deconstruct is for floor panels if you want to get rid of a floor panel. Um, but what that allows you to do is instead of having to press square to go into your build, sorry, triangle to go into your build menu, then move to your item, press square on it, and then do the option that you want. Um, what it will actually allow is it will allow you to just press X and drag, and it will destroy all of the ones that you come to. So if I destroy all of the pipes there what I'm going to need this time instead is I'm going to need a water purifier so we'll go to water purifier there we then need to have a bio composter which is going to go there and then we are going to have to use pipeline to link all of these together it's hard to see anything in this fog now the benefit of these power plants, I'm talking about the gas one and also geothermal when we come to look at that one, is they're not affected by weather conditions. Um, so the fact that I've currently got 50% solar and 50% wind means that all of my um, current generation is pretty poor. Um, now I'm going to wait until this fog has lifted before I carry on, simply because um, it's not going to give you a true representation of what this is like, so I will be back in a few. Okay, we're back. Now, unfortunately, um, it's now night time, so solar panels are not going to be any use here. But as I say, I usually do have a, uh, a requirement for um, wind anyway, so that's basically what I'm going to be focusing on. Right, so water upkeep is 50 energy a second. And the biocomposter is 10 energy a second. Now, bearing in mind our wind turbines produce 12, we're obviously going to need six of these just to get the correct amount of energy. We will have surplus as well. So if I start assembling my six turbines and then put an energy connector to link all of these together, Okay, so it's currently saying there's no power simply because uh, once these are full they actually stop drawing energy which is very useful but we've got 72 energy in total and we need 60 so actually I could have done with just five turbines that's my maths not working at all um, but as you can see, that's five times the incoming energy requirement just to use 
the biocomposter. Now, I'm not exactly sure why you would ever want to use a biocomposter unless there is no sludge nearby. So you can only use the gas converter with sludge. If you haven't got that, if you've got mud instead, then you will have to use this setup here, unfortunately. But there we go. That is the gas power plant um, and the best method of using it. Now, obviously, if we were to look at doing this um, properly, then if I just go to use this, we can see exactly what it's going to be uh, good for. Ironium factory. There we go. Under attack. So if I put those and then link them to... Okay. Actually, let's do this slightly differently. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Let's get rid of that one. So that it is drawing directly off this power station. As you can see, yes, it's damaged, but that doesn't really matter. Um, we have got energy being consumed. Um, now, all of these are full, so unfortunately, it's actually stopped being consumed rather quickly. But let's see if we can uh, build something that takes a lot of ironium. That only takes 200. That takes 600. Let's build one of those. So there we go. It's working away. And it's already... They're already full again. Well guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please make sure you do click the like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel or if you haven't done so already. Share the video with all of your friends and please do leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video and anything else you'd like to see in the future. If you want to support me more, please follow the link to the Patreon page. It's displayed on screen and I look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon. You'll take care. Bye for now.